yeah. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another fun-filled episode of The Gentleman's Den. I, of course, am Sean, and to my left, as always, is Frankie. Hey, everybody. And to my right, as always, is Jeff. My name's Jeff. So, how's everybody's week been? Everybody had a good one? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It's always better when you get to here. Yeah. It was all right. A lot of work. A lot of bullshit I didn't want to do, but... You know, I got kids, and they're expensive, and uh, girlfriends are even more expensive. I got you. Uh, about last week's podcast, a little off the rails, boys. Ooh. <laughs> a little off it the rails, boys. a lot of alcohol. It was fucking rough. And with that being said, raise your uh, glasses. Yeah, let's have a cheers to that. Hey, if you, <laughs> if you all have uh, a glass at home, raise, raise them it up. up. Stay hydrated. Raise it up. Yeah, rumplements again. Fuck Jameson, me. need a sponsor. Every time I order Jameson at the bar, the bartender's always like, really? <laughs> uh, yeah. Because it's for me. No, yeah, it's actually you Rumpelmans, Rumpelmans at the bar is the real Yeah, they never James, have Rumpelmans. They, they, they never talk about Jameson. Oh, Rumpelmans are always like, really? You yeah. sure? They always give me the the option. They give, you the, they give you the look. Yeah. So, with going back to the topic of us being all fucked up last week, oh, gentlemen. Man. No, super fucked up. Yeah, he was. Gentlemen. We all were. We were all on that level. What is the most fucked up you've ever been? Ooh. <laughs> See now, I Ooh. have I have a couple I have a couple stories of this. I have first of all the most fucked up I've ever been. And then second of all, the craziest story being fucked up. <laughs> Which one do you want to hear first? How about uh, the most fucked up? Most fucked up. Start yeah, with the most fucked up, how, and then we'll circle back. I want to see if I concur. Most fucked up. I don't know. You weren't around for this one. Really? All right. Most so fucked up I've ever been. Sophomore year of high school. Um, At my house, partying during the summer, we filled up regular bowls, kitchen bowls you eat cereal out of. We filled them up. Don't know why this happened, but we filled up cereal <laughs> bowls. Full of Southern Comfort, <laughs> oh. and chugged them out of sh- <laughs> chugged them with straws. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I had alcohol poisoning. I was oh. sick for fucking three days straight. <laughs> well, you're, you're, still, oh. you're still growing as a man. Alcohol doesn't really agree with you at that age either. It was bad. Oh, it was so, so much sugar. Bad. We've done so much SoCo in our time. Why Why we put it in a cereal bowl, I'll never know. Ugh. And chugged it out of a straw. But Probably thought you'd get fucked up faster, dude. I'll beat yeah, you. Bro. I'll totally ch- I'll chug you. Let's I'll race. show you how to chug, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Movie dude, you just went through like six. <laughs> <laughs> you just kept <laughs> rambling for really? like a Should minute. Chug, motherfucker. I might be more fucked up than last week. So. Yeah, well, no, a ed- little no bit. edibles this week. No, i not not this week, but all right. So that was your most fucked up story. The craziest, and this is no bullshit. Everyone's oh, there's no way. So we're going from I, most fucked up to crazy. This is the craziest fucking shit that has ever happened to me. I went senior year of high school. I went down to Cancun, Mexico, and uh, with my buddy and his family. And it was all-inclusive, so, you know, it was free drinks, whatever, and you didn't have to be 21 down there. You know, you drink it fucking, you know, when you get 18. pubic hair. <laughs> <laughs> you can start drinking down there. So we ended up meeting this fucking guy, and I, I swore he was fucking American. He was white, but he spoke with a Mexican accent, and he he loved partying with fucking Americans. And... uh so we hung out with him like the whole fucking time. And one night I got so fucking wasted. <laughs> I started talking with a Mexican accent. <laughs> oh, shit. And I seriously could not stop Stupid. myself. That's why I, the movie 22 Jump Street where he's like, my name's Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> There's a crazy story to this because back in 2000 fucking two, when I was in Cancun, Mexico, Jeez. I was so fucked up. And I'm like, Brandon, that's who the guy I went down to Mexico with. He's like, oh, what do you want to do tonight? And he's like, dude, if you don't stop talking like that, I'm going to punch you in the fucking face. <laughs> I'm like, I am so sorry. I can't even stop myself. <laughs> He's like, bro, what the fuck? Stop talking with a goddamn accent. 
I'm like, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I legit was trying. We went back to the hotel room. And I've said my name a million fucking times. So I'm like, well, I'll just repeat my name until it comes out English. <laughs> so I'm sitting in the hotel room like, Jeff? <laughs> Jeff? 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 <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> Oh, this shit. kid was gonna punch me in the fucking <laughs> face, but then I slept it off. Woke up in the morning, had some eggs. The eggs, it's always the eggs. Perfectly fine. It's always Jeff, the eggs. Jeff was eating eggs in the morning. <laughs> that Jeff. 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 <laughs> Jeff died the night before. I don't know, dude. That was fucking nuts. I've heard about like people like they get in like car accidents and go into coma. Oh, and they, they get like, the other voices. Up. Yeah, and they. They fucking can speak like fluent Spanish and shit. And yeah, you were like just French and your inner channel, your your inner something, dude. It was. <laughs> I think it was because we were hanging around with this this guy all fucking week. And was that he when you guys took the a, bus down to the bar? Out of yeah, to fucking uh, Senior Frogs. Yeah, because it was like that's like the Americanized place out there. You know, we're gonna go to well, Senior yeah, Frogs. Yeah, there was a bunch of clubs down there and shit. And it was. It is what it is. Yeah, it is Americanized, and they even tell you they're like, "Don't fucking go off the strip." Right. We went off a little, the strip. Gets a little, <laughs> gets a little soft on or salty on the outside of that strip there. Yeah, it's pretty scary. It was, dude. It would, it like, I, it freaked me the fuck out. Like, it freaked me out, and my buddy was pissed because he had to <laughs> listen to me. The whole fucking night talking you guys in a missed Spanish the, the accent. bus on the way back, right? You guys stayed too late, and there was no buses all the way back into the Golden oh, Zone. Oh, was fucking nuts, man. You had to walk, and you this talked like This was back that in the, the day when, like, I mean, they still had pay phones. I had a calling card. <laughs> I put minutes on a calling card, and I fucking... <laughs> I was trying to call my girlfriend. I'm like, oh, babe, I don't know what's happening <laughs> down here. She's like, why are you talking like that? I was I don't know, but I'm fucked up. <laughs> All right, Frankie, <laughs> hit us with it. You know, <sighs> the drunkest you've ever been. I think I know. I feel like I I don't know wh- what the most drunk I've ever been, and and it's it's hard to like pinpoint. I've been fucked up a lot, but like I always felt like I kept my composure and I was able to to know what it was going on. Everyone who's fucked up feels like they're keeping their composure. <laughs> I'm cool. Yeah, I got this. <laughs> it's, it's like that scene in, scene in Beer Fest when he's like, oh, looking good, Barry. Yeah, yeah. I knew the whole time. <laughs> uh, so I, what's I, the night where you like woke up and you're like, holy fuck, dude? I feel like one of the worst times was when I drank moonshine. But that was probably the, the sickest. Dells? No, we were at your buddy's bar who owned that bar and you were mm-hmm. DJing. And he had a big water bottle full of. Oh, wine. yeah. He passed out in the back of the kitchen yeah, in his own bar. Kenny. Yeah, I had to bartend. I didn't know yeah. what the fuck I was doing. I was more. I, I was like, like yeah, I, said, I don't think I was that uh, fucked dollars. up. I don't remember a whole lot, but I woke up the next day and I know I had to go to my nephew's confirmation. And I had to get up early, get a suit on, get all ready, go to this church. And I'm sitting there in the church and. Praying to God, please don't let me throw up. I'm literally like the did, whole time. Did he hear your prayers? <laughs> he, he, I didn't throw up in church. Thank God. <laughs> it was it was pretty bad. But I think that's like the sickest. I think the most fucked up I was was when we were in Mexico. And this was like 06. I was like 18. And it was like the first big like vacation we ever went on i went with you your first backflip oh my <laughs> god you're a fucking asshole oh so in mexico we uh we had like a resort it was great you know it was his uncle's timeshare he you know spared no expense it's a beautiful it's like a whole apartment it was awesome best one of the best times of my life and one of the days we had lined up was the uh, booze cruise we hopped on that boat and went to some island and they was like all inclusive, all you can drink, all you can eat. Um, you know, you go out there for the day. They're snorkeling. They got or the not banana eat. boats. Or, all right, or man. Eat. Listen, bro. Get to the fucking story. So, so we'll me and him, all, the, the big buffet. We didn't eat any of it. It's the build up, Sean. It's all about right? the build up. Let that beat build. Yeah, but people know what <laughs> goes on on cruises, man. 
So, so if not you, on a booze. Not a lot of people, you know. But they, they don't really know us that well yet. I mean, yeah. I know you guys inside and out. Like Jeff's a really picky eater. Hey, and so hey, am I. Easy I'm with a the inside and eater. Yeah, I like fucking. If cheese. Jeff doesn't eat chicken and broccoli every day he, for a week straight, he feels off. He's on the kids menu Pizza, when he orders cheese, pretzels, and cheese. Cheese chicken with everything. Trips, I'm dipping cheese. <laughs> Mozzarella so sticks. All we ended up eating on this booze cruise, we get to the island and we're starving. We're swimming all day, and they bring out all this stuff, and none of it looks appealing. We don't want anything. We end up making oh, rice, tacos. Yeah, because they were tacos. like, okay, they're fucking, there's going to be food. And we're like, oh, fucking sweet. You know, like at least like chicken tacos. Right. right something. There's something we can nothing, get. Nothing. Dude. And we are drinking well, all you, day. And you both eat like fucking five year olds. Yeah. So we weren't. There was not enough for us to, to be full on. We were drinking all day already on the boat. And the first time we got beers on the boat was a couple beers. We ordered whatever, just two beers, Bud Lights. And they bring it from like the 2000 championship or whatever of the yeah, Patriots. Yeah, let's talk about that. It was and it's in like 06. 2001 Patriots <laughs> Super Bowl celebration <laughs> beer. And it's like 2006. Five years old like, is this oof, beer. So what? I'm like, all right, the beer is not... The greatest. The beer's gone order. bad. The beer's gone bad. <laughs> no one ref- drink the beer. Movie reference. So we, uh, I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to drink. So Jeff's like, dude, get like these Mai Tais. They're, they're pretty good. Or Yeah, it was Mai Tais. <laughs> so we're ordering Mai Tais. We had like six of them before we even got there. We're drinking all day. Then when the food comes, we eat just nothing but rice. We're drinking all the way back. All, no, tortillas. All day. Tortillas, tortillas and rice. We had tortillas with rice, and that is it, nothing else in them, just a tortilla. All, all day. With rice. And a whole Rough. lot of drinks. We probably, all day in the Rough. sun, we probably had 20 close Mai Tais. To 20 Mai yeah, Easy. And then, and on the a way banana back, raft. who comes out? Whew. This essay with a fucking bullet holster across his chest <laughs> full of shot glasses and two looked bottles like of tequilas fucking, on his head. Uh, looked like fucking commando. <laughs> <laughs> Shot glasses all down, fucking strapped oh, to the gills. Machete. We ended up doing a shot of tequila that was like the size of Jeff's cup he's drinking right now. Which it, is a pint glass for those not watching this. On it anything. was ridiculous. Me, him, and his sister did a shot of tequila. And I don't know, honestly, that's probably. Well, my sister took it first, and she fucking took it like a champ. Yeah, she did. She, she won this contest. That fucking tequila, and Frankie's like. I can't look like no bitch. Right, I got to step up to shit. Like, she <laughs> she was, she she really was a champ. Well, what happened after we got off the boat? Well, That's I don't what really we remember. Hear. So, so wait, we I got off the boat. We want to hear about when you got fucked. <laughs> oh. I guess I got off the boat because Jeff carried me into a taxi to go back to the hotel because I don't remember getting off the boat. But I've been told we took the taxi, we got back to the hotel room, and I do remember being carried up the stairs and put into the room. Once I got into the room, all hell broke loose. I lay down on my bed and felt spinning and sicker than I've ever been, puking all over myself. I I mean, all over my bed. I was fucked up. Don't just black out. The most fucked up I've ever been. And I end up going into the bathroom to take a shower to fucking clean off. No, let's talk about, so you had how many Mai Tais? Probably 15. Easy, 15 and to 20. And all we ate. Were tortillas with rice, and then I bla- and then the to- the the tequila no, shot. You puked all over, <laughs> you puked all over the fucking floor of this fucking beautiful fucking <laughs> estate. There's pink rice everywhere. <laughs> oh, from the mai tais. <laughs> yes, there was pink oh rice my God. all over the floor of this fucking <laughs> hotel room. Oh, oh if boy. the cops were to show up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they'd never seen anything like this before. <laughs> it looked like a murder scene. This is a first. <laughs> so, so I, I ended up hopping in the shower trying to, you know, clean up, and they ended up oh taking all the blankets God. away. And uh, I, I feel tired, and I can't stand anymore, so I decide I'm going to lay down. <laughs> <laughs> and I end up uh, somehow putting the drain in and twisting it, and the bathtub filled up with water. I ended up passing out in that bathtub. And... Uh, about an hour later, when the water was overflowing and coming out the door and Jeff's banging on it, he beats the door down and fucking saves my life and wakes me up. That's got to be the most fucked up I've ever been. Yeah. Because I don't really remember See, that would that day. That would have been a hard struggle, you know. To Explaining your, that? Explain to your mom. Like, how did he die? 
<laughs> yeah, he got fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> he drowned off in the bathtub. Off of rice and Mai Tais, and he drowned in that bathtub. <laughs> when we were when we were on that resort, though, I mean, we did a lot of stupid shit. How much fun was it? Like, we were throwing the football under the waves. We started swimming out in the ocean. First time in the ocean. And we go, it's like, you walk like 40 you feet out. We met, we met the fucking, the panty, the panty drug oh, lord down there. <laughs> that's what I was getting to. So we were on the beach and we were swimming. We swimmed like 50 feet out though. And you remember hitting that cliff edge? And it was terrifying. I'm not going to lie. We, you would hit this ledge and it just dropped to the ocean. It was deep. I mean, we tried jumping down and seeing how deep it went. And you just got bombarded with the waves crashing in. So we ended up staying in the pool for the most part after that. But back down flipping. the beach, we met this dude. Do you he want to tell cool. the backflip story quick? So yeah. that's where I was. Uh, get, yeah, we went to the Are beach. we leading to the backflip story here? <laughs> that's why we stayed out of the ocean, because we uh, basically got pulled out with the current fucking around. Let's just set the scene. Frankie can't do a backflip to fucking save <laughs> He also can't throw a spin kick So we're either. in the fucking pool, and they had like a waterfall. Into the fucking pool. So I was backflipping. I'm like, dude, do it, do it, do it. Yeah, it's like, it's like a probably 15-foot little canyon thing that yeah. you built up over Everybody there. around the pool. Because there was a cruise ship there of like 2,000 people. Everybody's sitting around eating shrimp. Everyone <laughs> fucking bar. Mai Tais. Mai Tais and shrimp. Frankie, Frankie gets his, you know, liquid courage. He's like, yeah, I'm going to send it. <laughs> He's fucking on top of the waterfall. He does the worst backflip I've ever seen in my life. It was like a sideways flip. <laughs> you were pushing that on me the whole time. Boom. I was doing front flips, and I'm like, I can't do a backflip. You're like, Dude, Belly just try flops it. You like got a it. Motherfucker. <laughs> Over rotated front flips. This motherfucker pops up out of the water like, ah. Oh. Everybody sitting around the pool <laughs> is standing up and clapping. <laughs> For this fucking guy. <laughs> as he's just destroying his gut the whole time. I literally hit the water and as soon as I was underneath just started screaming. He got out. He's like, oh, Jesus. Let's go get some shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> That's a t-shirt. I hate you. Let's go get some shrimp. That's a t-shirt. Oh, fuck, oh That was because it was the first time he ever ate shrimp. He, he was totally against it. We went to this place right on the ocean and had shrimp and, and lobster with his uncle, and it was awesome, and he was totally for it then. Remember well, let's talk about fucking – let's talk about the dude. Okay, so we're fucking – you know, we're at the resort, and we, we ventured off the resort, and we're like, oh, let's go check out some other clubs or whatever else is in the area. We're in, we're in Mazalan. Coolest club I've ever seen. My the and there's like stories. Oh, it, and there was nobody in there. We're the it only six people crazy. in there. It could hold twenty four hundred people. So we go people. to this other place, and uh, it's kind of the same story. There's not really many people in there. So we're like, let's let's leave. So we're walking out, and this guy just comes up to us. He's like, "Hey, you guys are American." We're like, "Yeah, you know, we're just here for vacation." He was American too. He's like, "Yeah, my yeah. name's blah blah blah," and uh, what was it, Victor? Right. Yeah, yeah, I Victor. Victor. He's like, no, yeah, no, that fucking, was his name. He's like, he's like, ride, ride with us. We're going to this club down the street. So, and they said, like, do okay. not leave the golden zone. Yeah, don't we leave. Did. Don't do not go off the fucking strip. I mean, when we were driving from the airport to the resort, we're like, <laughs> where the fuck are we? Going? Right, we're on the bus. Yeah. There's chickens in the street and dogs <laughs> chewing on people Fuck sleeping. Up. Like, <laughs> I'm like, this no, is our vacation. Crazy. It was scary. I'm not gonna lie. And this, this is like the golden rule, like you know, don't fucking ride with anybody. Like I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna be a fucking, you know, wake 100% up in a bathtub full of ice, fucking, you know, my kidney taken out. So <laughs> Frankie and I are in the you? fucking back seat behind these two guys, like ready to bonk them over the head in case anything <laughs> fucking happens. <laughs> <laughs> he even asked me too. He's like, "You want to drive? You could say you drove in Mexico." And I was like, "Nah, man, I'm all right." That just seemed creepy. Like he wanted to sit behind me. I was not having it. Gotta so they drove smart. us they drove us to this other club and it was a fucking good time and and then he was like meet me here tomorrow he's like just give him my name and we're like all right yeah, cool we so did skip a line of like 150 we sh- people yeah we show up there the next night and there's a fucking line out the door like 150 200 people we walked right up to the front we're like yeah we're here to see Victor 
They're like, all right, yeah, come straight through. <laughs> Boom. Just right into you know, the table. We that just means go in. Victor was slanging the most Dude, fucking coke bro, out of there. They sat us right at the fucking head table. Bottle service. He's like, yeah, dude, don't worry about a fucking thing. It's a fucking foam party going on. It was I rode that foam machine. I rode nuts. it through the crowd. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. That was so It was crazy. fucking crazy. And his buddy was getting deported because he was getting sent back That's to right. America. Remember, he was slaying in, like, lingerie. lingerie. He was bringing yes. Victoria's Secret Victoria, to Mexico. Oh, like dude. You were hanging Mexico. out with a dude that was fucking <laughs> slaying in fake Jordache jeans and shit. He, dude, these dudes were balling. They had they had money. I mean, he you could tell he had weight rolling around It was there. fucking awesome, though, because I never experienced, like, VIP treatment like that. Like, right. It was fucking crazy, dude. They just kept bringing bottles. And they're like, oh, fucking, you guys need anything, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, I got to. He kept going to the bathroom. Remember? Right, right. Oh, yeah, because yeah, he was hammering security. fat lines. Well, dude, he had security on with him, too. Like, he's giving all security water. He's like, you know, a slick move. Like, hey, you know, we get in a scuffle with some people here. Who are they throwing out? The guy that gave him a water? Or, or the guy that, you know, is just. I mean, I learned off. a lot that trip. That was a <laughs> bottom line. It was a learning experience. <laughs> right? This should also be on uh, the learning aspect category instead of just comedy yeah. and see i wanted to put this <laughs> you know under educational so yes. I was like, oh, it's man the comedy i'm like fine you know <laughs> in in this society don't right now me. yeah 100 percent. this is an educational podcast don't follow the path we have facts because it is fucking littered with fucking bad decisions the worst Bad decisions, but some good times, some great, but great, great times. times. They ended I mean, up the worst decisions led to the best times. Do you remember the dude when we were walking on the beach and then we were like looking? There was like hundreds oh, of jellyfish. The, so there's oh, I like, thought you were going into five dollar. That's what. So we're not talking about, about, we're not talking about we subway him. here. So we're walking on the <laughs> beach and we seen there's all these jellyfish washed up on shore and like, you know, we're like, holy fuck, like that's crazy. And we're just walking around and this guy walks up to us. He's like, Oh, you see those? Don't, don't touch those that fuck up your vacation. And we're like, oh. I should probably do the Spanish accent from my story before. My name <laughs> yeah. Hold on a second. How come the most Spanish motherfucker has no Spanish accent and the whitest motherfucker looks like John Wick stunt double <laughs> right now? Easy fucker. Is That's the best I got. Instantly Spanish. My hair is beautiful. Show your face. <laughs> you gonna call the manager? <laughs> so this guy comes up to us and he's like, "Don't step on those. That'll fuck your vacation up." Blah, blah. We asked him because we went to that one club and we were like, "So you know, where's all the cool clubs out here and this and that?" Like we were at one, there was no one there, and we went to this other one down the street. He goes, "You want to go to the best club? <laughs> you want to go to the good clubs, Mike? <laughs> they got all the beautiful women." Five dollar finger banging. <laughs> We're like, whoa, anything whoa. Anything you want. Ten dollar anything you want. I'm like, We're like, whoa. no, 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 no. Like, like dance clubs. Dance like. clubs, man. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Hey. This guy's like, I don't know. I don't know. None of those. Hey. So five dollar finger banging. I'm not gonna deal. I'm not gonna lie. I mean that's a fucking deal. I'm a co I'm on vacation. <laughs> Fuck it, five dollar finger bag. Imagine what is. you'd get right, with twenty dollars. Twenty, 20 bucks. bucks. Oh, are. twenty bucks. You remember what we got for five dollars at that restaurant? A fucking full slab of ribs falling off the plate. Oh, some yeah. kind of dog. Bigger than your arm. Fries, fucking overloading on it. Baked potato. I mean, it gave you like four sides for five dollars. You drop a twenty, you're gonna be able to pull a three way off. $5. Oh, that's we still talk easy. about that to this day. We're like five dollar finger banging. <laughs> After after a couple of cocktails, like, it comes no, out. No, man, like nightclubs. The I dance, don't know what the dance. fucking clubs you're talking no, about. No, no, I don't know. I don't know dance clubs. <laughs> All right, so my most fucked up? Oof. That's a lot. Uh, how about we go with... Uh, you want to go with the Antioch story where I blacked out in order to spree? Antioch? Antioch. Antioch, or... The, are we going with the uh, 25 beer bongs in the Dells? Oh, dear God. Ooh. 25 beer bongs in the Dells it is. <laughs> so <laughs> a buddy of ours has an older brother that comes up to the Dells with us all the time who actually started the Dells trip originally. 
can't give out any names out. Sorry, I just burped off microphone, not to be a prick. <laughs> so real professional. He uh, challenged me one night. The older brother did to who can do the most beer bongs. I do these beer bongs. So I get a twenty-five pack or twenty-four pack of Milwaukee's best ice. That delicious, delicious brew of Milwaukee's uh, best ice. It's cheap. It's oh, amazing. Cheap, and it's 6% alcohol. It's like the perfect, like, It's the beer bong beer. Bong. Because you don't want to taste it. I like High it. Life, though. High Life Light. So high Life Light. Nine bucks a 30 it was, pack. Oh, it yeah, was but see, with the season. ice, you get that extra six, you know, it's 6% alcohol instead of 5.5. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you get but, a free bag of ice. So I'm like, fuck it. Beer bong with ice in it sounds rough. So I'm like, fuck it. If we're going to do these beer bongs, I'm going to do them big. We're going to do them with fucking shots on top. So pick out a bottle that you want to dump, you want dumped on top of each one of these beer bongs. My choice was Sambuca. So beer bong one goes down and it is Miller Lite Ice or Miller uh, Milwaukee's Best Ice. Than black licorice. Oh, I fucking hate black licorice. <laughs> so I did that 25 times. <laughs> yes, I said a 24 pack, but the 20. Dude! We're pouring shots. Yes, that's a oh, normal shot. Oh, my goodness. That's a normal shot. I'm sorry. So I don't report. <laughs> my, my 24. I'm not sorry. You're welcome. <laughs> sorry, I'm not sorry. My, after I finish my 24th, I'm like, all right, I'm going to do one more. So I open the cooler, and the only thing sitting in there is a hams. Oh, my God. Mm. And, and the Sambuca's <laughs> gone, so I can't mm. kill the taste of this fucking shithouse beer. So, Yeah, but the, it's called Ham's Premium. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that like the upgrade version? <laughs> the Dude, all I know is this was like $8, yeah, don't say just eight say dollars, it was $8 for premium, a 90 bro. rack. It was like eight dollars for a ninety rack oh, of hams. Like Boone's Farm and Mad Dog. Yeah, so we dumped the. I dumped that last hams in there. I cracked that beer bong straight to the sky and do it. I sit down and I look at the gentleman who challenged me. He goes, <laughs> "You fucking beat my ass. There ain't no way I'm catching up because that was number twenty five." I looked at him and I said, "The fucking campsite's spinning. <laughs> I'm going to go to sleep in the back of my car." So I opened the back of my Ford Focus at the time. And, it, yeah, again, he's I'm six four. Four. guy six four. in a little coat. Yeah. So, and I just dive in into. In the back of a Ford Focus. I dive into the back of the Focus. Focus. I sh- focus. 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 I shut the fucking focus door. Focus at that point. <laughs> I shut the fucking door, and I fall asleep with all my body weight on my <laughs> arms. So I've. I'm knocked out in the back of this car, and then all of a sudden I hear, (laughs) then then I'm like, oh, God, I'm going to (laughs) puke. I got to get my arms out of here so I can open the door to throw up outside my car so I don't puke in my car. I can't move my arms. (laughs) They're both asleep. (laughs) I go, fuck, (laughs) son of a bitch. Can't get my arms out. Oh, fuck. I'm, oh, that towel's on the floor. Perfect. So I roll over and <laughs> proceed to just open my mouth. And normally when I, you know, when you vomit, there's a little bit of sound that comes out of your body. The the force, the uh, uh, yeah. Tighten up. There was none of that. It was, it was just the sound <laughs> of water hitting the floor of the back of my oh. car. <laughs> Hold on. At this point, I feel like we should raise a glass. Oh, we're doing another shot. I feel like that's a good idea, that's like right? A, that's I'm a good sorry, point. John, I overboard you. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that thing is. I'm only doing a half here. I mean, we we could probably or rename, a full one. We could probably. Oh uh, You're could a probably champ. You're my this hero. Fucking podcast of the <laughs> adventures in the dolls because it fucking Yo, goes on so, for days, bro. So a bit. Let's see. I want to see where this is going. I threw up. I. I said, fuck it. It's over, Rock. Puked in my car. My car's going to stink. I don't fucking care. Go back to sleep. 
It's eight good. o'clock in the morning rolls around. You know, as soon as that sun creeps over the top, and you all of a sudden the heat just starts building up in your car. Oh, it's the worst. I just go, oh, <laughs> open the door. Just open the door. <laughs> Got my arm out. Push open the door by my head. <laughs> I look down, and literally the only thing on the towel. Everything else is fine all around it. The only thing that is visible on the towel is two French fries. <laughs> I did not eat that day and did literally 25 beer bongs, 24 of them with Sambuca toppers. Where did those fries come from? I can't say who did. Who came back, but someone came back, and they're like, hey, man, have some of these fries. <laughs> And I ate two of them, and that's all I remember. Woke up the next day, pulled, there the, they were. pulled the towel out of the fucking car, went to the pool, and actually just dropped the towel in the pool. Oh, that Dude, pool's the worst. That pool's horrible, bro. I've seen people, little kids go Dirty in with diapers, diapers and yeah. come out without wearing diapers. Oh. There was, like, legit, we're like, oh, they redid the pool. Like, this year's yes, different. As soon as we walked in the gate, there's a fucking dirty diaper sitting right on the fucking table. Like, right there. Dude, and the pool yeah, water nah, we is ain't green. Going in that motherfucker. Yeah, no. <laughs> the pool water was never clear. It I, was always green. I love camping in the Dells, though. It's so much the fun. The worst part about camping is like going to bed. It's late. It's cold. It's comfortable as fuck. And then waking up and it's hot, hot as, as fuck. Balls. Just sweating. <laughs> Just yeah. sweating your fucking balls off. Like, and plus, get and, me out of here. And plus you're sweating so much from the 15 fucking bottles of booze you drank the night before. Right. I wish that I want to try it. Well, but that's now when, when we, we were drink, younger, though, man. Right. Like, we drink now? at 9 a.m. So breakfast at 7, 9 a.m. You're already I'll be you would get up, by 1130 now. You would get <laughs> up and start drinking. That's how we built that fucking pyramid of alcohol. Right. We I would mean, get up. Start drinking, and then that was it. We wouldn't fucking stop All drinking. Day. Now All I'm day. like, four o'clock. You want a nap, bro? I need a nap. <laughs> <laughs> we used You're to be like pussy, right? Gentlemen. And then thinking to yourself, I need a nap too. <laughs> Gentlemen, we used to be superheroes. I know. And then life kicked us in the fucking nuts. That's we got li- life is the kryptonite. Best advice that I could give any listener right now is. Never get old, all right? If you never get yeah, old. Yeah, but the problem is, is mentally, I'm 18 still. Right? I Physically, still bitch, I'm 93. <laughs> a hangover lasts for like a week. Oh, no, yeah. I was thinking about that the other day. Like, we used to fucking party and DJ and do all oh, this God. fucking crazy shit. Like, Wednesday night, we'd shut down the bar. I'd right. Get, and, and then go back to the I'd house. I'd get home drink. at fucking two thirty, and then we'd drink at the house, and then we'd fucking be at work, work at five a.m. in the morning. Right. And, like I would and sleep then in the parking night, lot. Thursday night we'd fucking DJ and drive back from forty five minutes away, fucking hammered at two thirty in the morning. We had to work at five, and now it's like not a fucking no chance. Way. I can no pass way. the fuck out as soon as I get but home. That's what I mean, though. We need to make it a thing that we still do that once a year. I remember it was probably just a few years back. A buddy got married, and uh, we went up to – we actually rented the house for the week. That was fun. Dude. That was fun as fuck. So much fun. And that's what I kind of like to get away. Camping is fun and everything, but you, like you said, it's it's rough. I remember, remember when you were <laughs> – Getting your ass beat by your ten. Oh, that was. <laughs> oh, the microburst. Oh, that, we well, didn't know where you were. <laughs> I was in my tent getting my ass kicked. Uh, we, we didn't know. <laughs> well, the, like so, the Dell's doing really. There's bad storms, and this one was so bad. These these guys all went to the casino. I wasn't of age yet to go in the casino. Oh no, we didn't. This is the best story ever, <laughs> because I'm in my truck and I look out and Frankie's doing the fucking. He doesn't know if he can go left or if he go right, and he just goes. He yells the girl's name out that he was fucking that came with literally him. that I was fucking at that time. <laughs> he yells this girl's name out, and I'm changing her name just to fucking save it. But he's just like Stacy, <laughs> Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely never fucked no bitch named Stacy. Yes, but I've been a deal breaker. Uh, yeah, right there. I'm changing the name just because. Not his house anyway. <laughs> yeah, he no. wouldn't bring a Stacy. No, Sta- Stacy would be definitely in the back of the fucking car. Well, <laughs> th- that was such a bad fuck. storm. They even said if you're driving, pull over and go in the ditch and lay out. Like it was 
horrible. It was a microburst. We built a pretty good shelter of tarps, tying them to the trees over the picnic tables. And there had to have been about 20, 25 of us on those picnic tables while Jeff's passed out in, and in the afternoon in his tent. Napping. And who was the first person to run to their car? <laughs> you. Me. You. So it me. got super quiet. We're and who was the first person that wouldn't let anyone else <laughs> in their car? It was Sean. No. No, I got to. I you woke got up to from my, my slumber. I woke up from my slumber and stood up, and the wind is kicking so fucking hard that my tent's kicking my fucking ass from every fucking direction. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? I got to get the fuck out of here. So I fucking get out of my tent. There's nobody, nobody around. I fucking go up to Sean's car. I'm banging in the window. He's sitting inside. The He's sitting inside. I'm fucking pulling the door handle. I'm it's not opening. I'm like, what the fuck? Where is everybody? We were standing up. All of a sudden, tables. I hear a voice in here. <laughs> So I run to this other dude's fucking camper. And then come to find out later, Sean's like, yeah, I don't know where the fuck you were running. I'm like, dude, I was pulling in your fucking door handle. You son of a bitch. You're in your car the whole time. Yeah, I was watching your ass laughing. He, <laughs> he actually ran up to. See, I ran up to your car, he, knocked on the window because the windows were tinted. After peek, your tent collapsed on you. The time to peek in, risking death, <laughs> pulling the door handle, and you're like, oh, 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 look at this idiot. I was sitting in my truck, too, watching this. Listen, he ran up to my car. He was at my car for literally a half a fucking second. He, was, he grabbed the handle and then just took off running again. Why was it locked? Was there it wasn't be locked. The store? It wasn't locked. I pulled the handle, you Too son fast. of a bitch. <laughs> it wasn't you. locked. I would never lock my boy out. <laughs> I was it just was like, locked. I actually yelled at you and said, easy coming in, your computer's on the seat. Because we had your computer hooked up to our fucking, mm. we were DJing out of the back of the truck. <laughs> <laughs> With, I remember though, in the beginning of that, when we, me and you were standing on the picnic tables, and I and looked it was at you, the worst storm, loudest thunder, lightning, flashing, pouring rain sideways, and it stopped. And I looked at you because the fucking tent top that we were dropped under down. dropped way down. I go, dude, get to your fucking car now. Run. And I fucking bolted from my car. I didn't listen. I stood on top of that, like, where's he going? And as soon as that fucking pressure came back. Boom. A fucking train ran through that it fucking campsite. It literally ripped the rope off the trees and snapped the rope. It took a tree out of the ground, and it fell over. I was running first to save Jeff's sister, who was pregnant at the time, and got her to the bathroom. And when I came back is when you saw me running. Stacy! <laughs> and I didn't see her. She was literally in the tent, though, next to that tree that fell. Super lucky. And I jumped in my car, and you were in your car, and that's when I witnessed this dumb motherfucker run up to I was all alone. <laughs> we didn't know where he See was. These fuckers care about me. <laughs> I watched his tent collapse. I seen that happen, but we burnt I that didn't tent. see him come my popping out of so it. My tent was so fucked up, we burnt it. Yeah, you pulled it over the fire just, and just set it on fire. It was already set up. Half fallen down, I just pulled it right over the fire and set it down. Oh shit! It was cool. That was actually a really cool burn. Yeah, it was. Yeah, we also burnt a ton of shit. Remember the fucking couch up there? We brought that couch. We Couches, the dumpster. tires, mattresses. We told them we're like, we asked them because we've been up there for fucking years. <sighs> yeah, so, so the many owners times. of this campsite know us, and we're like, can we burn burn this? And the security guards like, you can't burn any of this. <laughs> and so we went up to the owners. We're like, hey, can we burn this? They're like, yeah, if you're going to get rid of it. We're like, totally. Yeah. <laughs> so burn we fucking away, go bitches. back to the campsite. Light it up. <laughs> of course, security comes. <laughs> we didn't get rid of it. Jesus. <laughs> so you guys want to hear about uh, my most fucked up Dell's trip? Your most fucked up Dell's trip? Dell's trip. Yeah. Didn't you have another story that you've been holding on to for the last, I don't know. Two, three episodes? Yeah. I remember him saying something. You, well, we were going to talk about. You are trying to break out this one that we haven't heard yet. Oh, my God. Well, we'll save that to the end. 
Well, dude, I mean, we're we're a little bit past we'll the save, halfway we'll point. We'll save this doll's trip. This is in the radio business. This is what you call a tease. Ooh, so a tease. you're gonna have to wait till next week to hear about my most fucked up Dell's trip <laughs> ever. Or someone someone please email us and remind us. <laughs> <laughs> That was the same trip I left busted my eyeball open. Left me to sleep cold in the dirt. God. But we'll With a jizz-covered a sweater. <laughs> it's jizz. <laughs> jizz. jizz. Take it to the cleaner. If you haven't been to the Wisconsin Dells, I suggest going. And Take your friends. Have a camp, good time. I would suggest camping. Camping at is, Red Oaks camping campsite. Is the yeah, best. Red Oaks campsite. Thirty dollars. Memorial Just Day weekend. Just camp with a shower and a shirt. Literally ten dollars a night. It's cool so cheap. Fuck, but you're never there. Camping is where it's in at. In the campsite, you could party with everybody till 5 a.m. and no one gives You a just fuck. walk around and meet people. It, it's yeah, you find it's out that time. Hans's balls are huge. <laughs> That dude was fucking hilarious. Some crazy European comes up. Oh, his name was Martian, and his buddy's name was Dog. And the entire time they hung out with us, real grabbed names? that man a Another one. drink. Those were their real names, Martian and Dog. I got you, Dog. Thank you, bro. <laughs> Bartend for me, baby. And these guys just talked about the entire weekend. We've seen these guys. Hey, Martian, Dog, whatever, shy pop. Hey, what's up, guys? Yes, we were hanging out with our friends, uh, Hans, Hans's balls were huge. Every single time they talked about this guy Hans and his fucking balls. That was a fresh PBR being cracked, boys Ooh. and girls. That oh. just means raise one up for the fucking fallen. Are we, I'm gonna oh, take a box. You already did your shot. When did you do this? We did them when we fucking cheers 15 when minutes ago. When do you do this? I don't know. Yeah. We we'll grab that bottle of rumble. Bits. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. These fucking idiots. I'm drinking I'm my drink. Glass, touch tips. There we go. So Let's tips. gingerly touch gingerly our tips. Touch your tips. Uh, Salute, guys. Stay hydrated. So, Jeff. So I wanted to talk about a subject that I've been thinking about extensively. So for it's people been that driving hard. me fucking nuts. For the people that don't know, Jeff drives a what would be a dump truck. A big it's old a, eighteen it's wheeler. It's a big rig wrecker, bro. <laughs> So basically, I Jeff- drive a dump truck, but it's not a just regular dump truck. It's a fucking tractor trailer. Woo! Woo! That's the shape of BMW. You know, we're pulling out of there, Sean. We got ourselves a fucking convoy. You know what I'm saying? We've got a convoy. I don't know what it is, man. There's always a Trans Am, like, right fucking behind me. I don't know. <laughs> He's stuck in an episode He's of Smokey it down, in the <laughs> Loaded up and trucking. Woo! We gonna do what they say can't be done. Yeah. So I got a lot of time in the truck to just think about random shit. And I have a fucked up brain. Everyone does. Mm. Mine especially. <laughs> so Jeff Because you know what I think about? Jeff has literally hid this from us all day. And, and he keeps saying, ooh, ooh, you guys better chime in on this. This is like his Don't make diary. me look like an asshole. He gets to express himself here. He doesn't, he doesn't talk as much in uh, you know, the group. But on the mics, he's a free spirit. This is Great Jeff's. Spirit. This is Jeff's <laughs> therapy session. I'm a peacock. You know what I'm saying? You gotta let me fly. <laughs> movie we're, reference. Movie, movie reference. reference. <laughs> we have to. Uh, so we're laying Jeff down on the the psychiatrist couch right now. Well, I just okay. I'm laying down right now. Okay. All right, Doctor Doctor Sean. Yes, sir. I've been in the truck all day. Okay. And and like all I keep thinking about is like like Pornhub. Okay. And uh, not a, not a sponsor, but okay. Who who the fuck writes reviews <laughs> <laughs> on fucking Pornhub? Yeah, you know what? It, in in all honesty, if you have enough time to write a fucking review on Pornhub, you really need to look at your life and be like, like you didn't come hard enough, <laughs> so you're like thumbs down. <laughs> Like, yeah. who's doing this? Yeah. Who is cleaning themselves up? Uh, <laughs> no, I didn't like that. Nah, <laughs> not for me. You got a visual. You saw you not your belly. Me. Who came all over their belly button is like, Let's not talk about belly button. fuck that bitch. Not for me. <laughs> she didn't Thumbs do it for down. me. Oh, you think your dad's proud of you? Taking all that dick on film. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. You know, in all honesty, find a fucking better outlet. 
If you're going to be that angry at people to comment like negatively on a clip of porn that you didn't pay for, right? It's free. free. It's it's the best. Free. It's free, and you're like, didn't like it. Yeah. Nope. Nope. I can totally tell she was acting. She totally wasn't his sister. No. This is fucking bullshit. This is bullshit. I wanted a real stepmom. Yeah. This. They are no way in related at all. This is horse shit. There is no way that's a real, a real realtor in Los Angeles. Think, think but that brings it up to another. I'm going to put a review down. That brings it awesome. up to another fact. I awesome. mean, why the fuck are pornos over five minutes? I don't need Who a is story. Still playing this shit. I know sometimes, you know, I have a girlfriend, you know, even when you guys had girlfriends, like, you know, long time ago. I'm going to make love that- tonight. <laughs> Is that what you say? Is that yourself? what? Yeah, it's like tonight we're gonna make love for a little bit. I Man, mean, making love is boring, right? It always my ends safe word is blueberry pancakes. I will tell you, no matter what, it always ends up in Movie the same reference. situation. You're jackhammering <laughs> towards the end. The good old pink shaker. It's slow, slow, <laughs> slow. Oh, I'm about to bust. Pow, 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 pow. Sucks off. You done. Sucks off. <laughs> it's over. It's over, rock. But why are why are there like thirty five minute pornos? Like, what are you doing? Are you so like some so, some nights you decide you're gonna make love to your lady? Are you like, all right, tonight me and my penis are gonna fucking make love? Like, I don't I don't understand it. Just give me the f- five good minutes. Is this the talks you have with your penis? It is. I was like, what do you want, Dick? Do you want? <laughs> <laughs> What do you want? Cock. Do you want to make love? or I don't even know why I ask him anymore. I was like, do you want to get this fucking done or do you want to slow play it? He's like, bro, you know what I like. I'm like, all right, we're getting this done. I'm tired. I want to go to bed. I'm tired, motherfucker. We worked all day. <laughs> you want to talk about your, uh, your no. infatuation with well, Mama Cupcake? Hang on. No. No, we're no. going to fucking. No, we're, still, we're staying she on can this wait till next topic week. here. That's what that we're talking about. Why porno, a 35 minute porno is, it's because sometimes you're like, you're getting ready to do your thing. So you're like, oh, fuck, this is a long one. So you hit, you know, play. You look at it and you go, I'm going to get some chips. I'll be right back. So the porno is, you know, building, they're doing the slow kissing bullshit, taking off the fucking blah, 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 blah. Then all of a sudden it's like, oh, she's sucking his dick. Okay, put the chips down. Wipe your fingers off. Yeah, but don't you watch the beginning? I really want to know how she ended up this. at that job interview. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you wanted to know why she wanted like, to be an actress. Like, did she fill out an application? <laughs> did she fill out an application? And he's like, oh, yeah, "Yeah, we'll take her." I mean, call her for any job her. I've gone to. I don't, I don't send a Is picture. That how you of interview for a job? <laughs> Or, you know, <laughs> he sits oh. on the couch and he's oh, like, yeah. hey, I'm going to film this if you don't mind. <laughs> oh. And I'm like, yeah, that's it's, that's it's cool. a little weird, but I'm cool with it. Pretty soon I got fucking, you know, you're, 16 inches up north. Really? You're, you're vested in the in the the story. You must really need that job. It's like that's what I'm saying. Like, like you finish and there's still another 16 minutes to go. Am I going to finish watching? I need to find out. So there's this fucking detective movie, you know? This girl right away bangs this fucking dude. I'm already finished. (laughs) (laughs) The first scene, the first scene I'm done. So I don't even need to watch anymore. But But this guy. The mystery has been solved. (laughs) Here's the evidence. (laughs) All over my belly. Yeah, the evidence is it's been filed, bagged, and tagged. (laughs) <laughs> but for some fucking reason, the story continues. <laughs> so this girl bangs her boyfriend. I finished already. <laughs> and then somehow he ends up dead. Oh, oh, here Did comes it. here comes Mr. Detective. What's going on here? And She's like, I don't know. Here comes we the just dick had sucking. sex the night before. He's like, oh, yeah, looks like he didn't do a good job because he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> and then they start Ooh, fucking. That's just, that's just <laughs> perfect pornographic writing right, right there. That writer oh. is oh. a genius. 
<laughs> oh, that guy, that alien looks like a hot guy. Oh, we better have sex with it. <laughs> oh, look at this Martian. Better fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Saving a war with us and the aliens. <laughs> Can we go These back aliens the- are coming down and trying to steal all the PBR and give them blowjobs. And we're oh, not having son it down of a in bitch. Texas. You don't steal my PBRs. <laughs> another one? Will you get this man up here? Oh, oh he's shit. going for it. No, no, no. I got a full one there. I'm just but walking over the garbage can. You camp. get invested. Oh. Like, you nut, you're done. But the story continues. Like, I need to know what happens. Have you're you ever done that? Invested. You ever just watch it all the way through? You're like, fuck it, bro. Yeah. I'm and, sleeping and, before the movie's and over. And then I ask myself, how you know much what I like to do? How fucking degenerate am I that I just watched this 35 minutes I appreciate, and didn't pay for it? I appreciate a good porno because they show the cast and introduce them before the movie starts. Yeah. And then you find the hottest one. You're like, all right, I'm going to wait till she's on screen to beat <laughs> off. Oh, it's, you know what that is? That's, that's, just, that's just like uh, teasing yourself. You're like, ooh, like, this chick's this? really hot. This chick's really hot, but ooh, I'm going to hold back. I'm going to hold back. I'm just going to give it like a half crank to this one. I know, but right <laughs> away they just start fucking. I'm like, all right, let's get this over with. Then, then my brain goes to, uh, yeah, this just finish. I don't care what happens to the pirates. I really don't. <laughs> all right, can we go back to the guys that comment on the I'm guessing there's a treasure at the end. <laughs> right? I've yeah. seen this before. Yeah, then it's going to be a massive orgy of... Arcing ropes I love when they I love when they fucking spoof movies though. It is the It's best. the funniest shit. Like uh The Hills Have Thighs. The Hills Have Thighs. I don't even need to watch it. I just read the description and I'm I'm fucking dying laughing. You know, you had So uh, The Hills Have Thighs, what are some other ones we can think Edward of? Edward Penis one? Hands. Edward Penis Hands. I mean So many penises. Ro- Robocox. I'm guessing five. You guys watch a little way more porn Robocox. Robocox. Uh, Snow Black and the Seven Weenies. <laughs> Probably the best one I've ever seen flash on the screen was uh, Big Sausage Pizza. Because <laughs> I love sausage pizza, so I was like, I guess I'll watch it just to see what it's about. Root it forever. You know what's fucked up? The most fucked up. One I ever saw was something about fucking Sasquatch, man. I I still have nightmares about it. <laughs> Big Titty Slammer <laughs> 7. <laughs> These Shut bitches up. are on a fucking Sasquatch hunt, and he's just <laughs> fucking all of them in a fucking... Big old hairy suit. Who the Sasquatch? Yes. Oh, you watched <coughs> PC Kelly. Was that hair was that Harry and the Humptersons? I'm scarred for life. <laughs> it might have been, bro. Oh man. Oh backwoods loving. I can't breathe. Backwoods loving <laughs> seven. And they're always on like the seventh or eighth one. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I, I just want to know who's like, oh fuck, they came out with that new joint. <laughs> Big Titty Slammers 8. Oh, fuck. Number 7 was on I gotta the chain, edit. but 8 is going to be fucking crazy. <laughs> They're, like, super hyped about, like, Fast and Furious and Big Titty Slammers 8. They're like, oh, fuck. I got 1 through 7. Now I got to get 8. This is going to be the best movie ever. Oh, my God. Your collection's on point. You got you got to keep the you got to keep it going, you know. You ain't going to buy Mario Brothers and not buy Mario 2. Ooh. So you're not going to buy Big Titty Slammers 1 through 7 and not pick up 8. No, you gotta yeah, you're committed eight. at that point. Oh, you're you're in, <laughs> literally in deep. Listen, we've all watched every Fast and Furious. Uh, the first one was the greatest. We had this discussion the other day. I, I have no fucking idea which one's which. After, like, the fourth one, I don't confusing. know. The yeah. fifth one was, like, the Brazilian... Bank heist? I I just want them to go back to fucking racing cars. It's <laughs> not. Yeah. What the fuck? That the first one was we about talk like about talk stop. talk about taking a fucking left turn in a franchise. <laughs> These motherfuckers went a full one eighty. <laughs> like it started out, and all it was was illegal street racing, and they were stealing VCRs off of backs of fucking so, semis. So much fun. No. And now we're all about. Family. We're about the family. We live my life a quarter mile at a time. No, see, that's the first one. <laughs> now I literally, one. I like now we just talked about, I drive trucks, so I literally live my life a quarter mile at a time. 
<laughs> now, you know, Jason Statham's doing spin kicks over fucking mountains. And The Rock is fucking... Hobbs and Shaw, bro. And The Rock is pushing Did fucking... Did you see the preview for the new one? Hobbs yeah, and Shaw? Oh, I have Samoa. I'll wait for VHS. Uh, oh, you know, mm. when it comes out on Betamax, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, I'm going past VHS. F- Dude, but seriously, though, after five, they're all fucking blur. I can't tell the fucking... Di- we were trying to decipher. We're like, what, what one was seven? I was I like, couldn't tell I don't you. fucking know, bro. <laughs> They jump some fucking car from building right, to building. Right, you're jumping cars out of planes, so, and I'm out. The first one was dope. It was like a normal street racing. I mean, this is back cool when like we body it. kits were cool and blah blah blah. When you had the, the I had a mobile. fucking dope, dope fucking stuff. ride, and Living I was like, doors, oh shit, door handles, like Fast and Furious. Let's get to the And then floor. that car sat for two years and didn't start. Yeah, it sat in my garage. How dare you? Hey, it was a beautiful car. It was a beautiful car, well, but you couldn't leave your driveway with it, or else you'd rip the bottom <laughs> off. Of it. it was like two inches off the ground. The white leather. But then Fast and Furious over. took a change where it was like all about family. You know what's hilarious about Fast and Furious? Did you guys go see it in the theater? The first one. The first yeah, one. I the saw first it sixteen times. times in the theater. <laughs> really, I saw it like twice. With how? You. You saw it way more than that. So. When you left the theater, how many dudes were revving their engines super oh, fucking God. hard and chirping their tires leaving? Everyone. When the first one came out, I had a fucking Mustang GT 5.0. Oh, I was burning. You put that out. in a fucking cornfield. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, yeah. Probably because of Vin Diesel. Fuck you, Vin Diesel. <laughs> I drove my Mustang into a cornfield. <laughs> Now that was uh, in high school. I was leaving high school. You know, showing off. It's wet. It's raining. Yeah, rear wheel drive. You got a fucking best that time. Ass end I mean, let's get props time. to myself. I mean, fuck, dude. <laughs> My first car what ever. Was that? Was well, that I me? don't know what was that. <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> huh? Dude, that might be the that might be the you greatest ever sound the movie, effect the, ever we've you ever, ever seen had. The movie? <laughs> The fucking Langoliers by fucking Stephen King. I don't know what the fuck I'm what? talking about right now. But that's, uh, that might have been the noise they made. <laughs> Did you hear it too? You don't even have a headset on. Huh? You heard that noise? What noise? I didn't hear shit. <laughs> this is where someone's going to rewind it and be like, what was that? <laughs> that came out of someone's soul. Was that? Was that? <laughs> but I so was my throat. Boys, do you want to keep going past the hour mark, or should we kill it in the next three minutes? Well, I want to I want to talk quick about um, since we didn't get any emails about the uh, gentleman, gentleman of the week. Of the week I want to yeah. do a gentleman's rant. Ooh, okay. All right, gentleman's all right, rant. It is. <sighs> you get my stance. So I've been talking all day about this this new truck I saw. Yes. And uh, I it was a picture. And Sean's going to love this fucking rant. Oh. He's going to love it. I haven't heard it, so I'm excited. So I seen a picture, and it's a bunch of fucking bro-dozers. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> bro-dozers? <laughs> See? Fuck's a bro-dozer? <laughs> I'm glad you asked, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the car industry. I've never heard of this. I never heard of this until fucking two weeks ago. A bro-dozer. Is one of those jacked up fucking trucks that never sees the dirt. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's the millennial version of a truck. So there's a, there's a truck. whole line of bro dozers, and it's like, oh, must be a five figure death punch concert. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck five finger death punch. So let's punch. talk about God's favorite band. shitty bands for a little bit. <laughs> oh, shitty bands. Let's Let's go. Let's go with the shitty bands. I the got this all day. I have, okay, so a lot of people hate on fucking Five Finger and like Nickelback, and I believe me, I was never a Five Finger Death Punch fan five since finger. the beginning. <laughs> five five finger, dollar five finger dollar banging. finger banging. <laughs> That's why I hate Five Finger Death Punch. It might be <laughs> Five Finger Five Dollar. But finger everyone banging. like fucking hates on Nickelback. Like I, when Nickelback came out, like I. I like Nickelback. I listen to Nickelback. The first I still two like listen some of Nickelback no, songs. I'm gonna tell you right now, the <laughs> first two albums were very good. Were good. Then they fell off. 
everything goes mainstream. Then they went mainstream. Hey, Avril Lavigne. After Animals, I was out. I Ugh. liked Animals. Yeah, the next album after that was just... It, but you know what's happening when Animals get, gets played. Oh, if yeah. you're at a fucking bar and you hear either Animals or Five Finger Death Punch and you look at the guy who's at the jukebox playing it, you're like... This fucking guy means business. Let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> this guy also rode in on a Harley. You got to do it discreet. You got to be like Sean and have the app on your phone, and then you can play shit from your seat and just watch people's <laughs> reactions. <laughs> that is the best ever. Whenever <laughs> Sean's leaving a bar, Sean picks up his phone, and he plays the song uh, by Electric Six. Electric Six. Electric Six. And the song is called Gay Bar. <laughs> it is uh, fucking and hilarious. And the reason why we play this song is Jeff shows me this video. <laughs> well, because back when MTV used to play fucking videos, I saw this fucking video on MTV, and I was like, what the fuck this is, is this? This is the early this guy ages is of YouTube. dressed like fucking Abraham Lincoln in a Speedo. Oh, and he's working talking out. about a fucking... Working Gay out. It He's is, working out in the White House. There's a gerbil I, that comes out. Of I, I encourage everybody to go on YouTube and it's look up. It's a great band. Electric Six Gay Bar. <laughs> I would and listen to Gay Bar. If you do not all, laugh at that video, you have no soul. Because it is the greatest piece of cinema ever shot. <laughs> but let's talk about, let's get back to Five Finger Death Punch for a minute here. Yeah, okay? let's. <sighs> so let's talk about, let's talk about the, the type of people that come up with a name like Five Finger Death Punch. Like, let's say we're sitting in a room and we're like, we're going to think of a band, our band. It's got to be something hard. But like, really hard. Like, like, <laughs> like. When you listen to us, it causes physical pain to your body. What do you think, Francis? Is that why you cringe every time you hear it? I cringe every time I hear it <laughs> because I can cover songs, too, and put a double bass to them. Well, see, the Ooh. problem I have with Five Finger Death Punch is they are one of those bands. Like, if you actually listen to the lyrics of the song, all he talks about is what a fucking loser he is. <laughs> what a douchebag he is. Yeah. And then he's just bitching about everyone not liking him the entire time. <laughs> he's I'm like, a dick. I'm a loser. I give up on the industry. Why don't you like me? Why don't me? you like me? <laughs> See, I'm skipping to the next song. I won't get that far next. into it. <laughs> Listen, when you start a song out, when when you take the song Bad Company, which the original version is a fucking masterpiece. It's so good. And then, oh, we're going to make it our own. Bro. Yeah, but we're going to fucking punchify it. Bro. Bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> double bass pedals through the whole song. Oh, so it sounds like the chugging of a Harley Davidson. Yeah, but do you think they can handle the double bass? Bro. This might explode at the bar. They got him with the kick jump. And then. No, we didn't get born with a six gun in our hands. We're so hardcore. We got born with shotguns in our hands. Yeah, but do you think when we when people play it on the karaoke machine, Harleys are gonna explode in the parking lot? <laughs> That's what we're going for. Oh Jesus Christ! We're going for it. <laughs> now, when you play this song, you're gonna want to be in your Dodge truck. <laughs> It's got to be a Dodge. Yeah, but it's got to be diesel and have huge stacks coming out the back. <laughs> Cummins, Rolling baby. Roll. Cummins are Cummins nothing. Cummins all day. Cummins are Come nothing. Come on. And then you got to have the stacks. And then when you do is when you go out there. And you're yeah, like, but is it a bro dozer? Are you actually <laughs> taking it in the dirt? Bro, bro dozering. Bro. I'm talking bro dozer. We're in five finger death punch. Do you actually think we get dirty? Do you think, think we've ever done manual labor in our lives? Yeah, but do you think they all? went through the fingers before they started it? Like it, it, <laughs> when they pointer, <laughs> middle, ring, pinky, thumb. I don't even understand that name. <laughs> huh? Go through it again. <laughs> Five <laughs> finger, finger, right? So Death punch, like so. Are you killing my me? Question pointer, is, middle, ring, pinky. Thumb. Hold on a second. I got. I got a question. It so it's four finger, one thumb, <laughs> tickle slap. <laughs> it's 
not oh, a death punk. That's not hard enough. So a five finger. We're gonna start a cover band so called Four Finger <laughs> One Thumb Tickle Slap. <laughs> and we're gonna rule the. We're gonna talk about world. how we're losers and pieces of shit, but everybody else keeps leaving us, and they're the fucking losers and pieces of shit. And then we're gonna cover. Yes. And then we're gonna cover iconic songs like. Yesterday by the Beatles and just yesterday all my trouble sleeps so far away See? and then I had a shotgun. It's like an audition right now. And you know what's funny is that they're they're I never liked them from their first song because of the the break in the middle. Is a we're all just lines of choke, swaying to be washed away. <laughs> My daughter dry, draws fucking chalk out on the sidewalk here. And then... Uh, and in the, all over the neighbor's garage. Yeah, and then it rained, and she's like, Daddy, my chalk's all gone. I was like, yeah, you'd know that if you listened to some five-figure death punch. <laughs> and with that, that brings us to a close of another episode of the Gentleman's Den. For Frankie, for Jeff, thank you all so much for My listening. Name Don't forget to like, subscribe. And if you have a Gentleman of the Week you want to shout out. Nominate. Nominate. The goddamn email address <laughs> is thegentlemansdenpod at gmail.com. Send us an email. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. All them views on YouTube. That we're gonna come soon. Let us Woo. know what you want us to do the gentleman's rant on. Give us uh, give us one of your rants. Yeah, toss us some topics. Hit us up on our Facebooks or our Twitters or whatever, Snapchats or whatever the fuck you guys goddamn I need to do. Step my social media game up. Both you motherfuckers <laughs> need to step your social media game up. I don't like it. Twenty thirteen, my last post. I don't even know I don't even know how to hashtag something. <laughs> <sighs> to me, see what do all right, let's not end this yet. Oh. What do kids do? What do kids do with the fucking the when you call someone and they're like press press your area code and then hit the pound sign? They're like, what the fuck's a pound sign? You mean hashtag? <laughs> <laughs> All right. With that being said, folks, once again, I'm Sean. That's Frankie. That's Jeff. Thank you for coming into the gentleman's den. Thank you for wasting pound a, sign. Awesome. An an hour and ten minutes with us. Holy shit. If you're still listening to us after this one, <laughs> you're, fucking you're a hero. fucking you're the fucking best. And we love you. And like I said, we got t shirts coming soon. I uh, will uh I'll let everybody know. And we're out. Fuck yeah. Good times. Woo!